Acid catalyzed hydration means addition of water in the presence of an acid which act as catalyst. If you add water to this symmetrical alkane, no need of Marconic of rule. Marconic of rule applicable only for unsymmetrical alkene. Acetic acid is converted into ethanol. Here also round off functional group COOH is converted into the primary alcoholic functional group CH2OH. Hello my dear students, I am Renuka Ashok, Department of Chemistry, Vidyashram Pre-University College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Welcome to second session of chapter Alcohols, Phenols and Ethers. Second session of chapter Alcohol, Phenols and Ethers. In the previous session, that is in the first session, I discussed about what are alcohols, classification of alcohols, classification of monohydric alcohols as well as nomenclature of alcohols. So I discussed about alcohol as well as the classification of alcohols. As you know, depending upon number of OH group, alcohols are classified into four types, monohydric alcohols, dihydric alcohols, trihydric alcohols as well as polyhydric alcohols. After that, I discussed about how monohydric alcohols are classified into different types. Later, I discussed about nomenclature of alcohols. Okay. My dear student, today in this session, that is in the second session, I am going to discuss about methods of preparation of alcohols, how alcohols are generally prepared. What is the starting material for the preparation of alcohols? Alcohols are prepared generally by three methods. The first from alkenes, second from carbonyl compounds, second from carbonyl compounds, third one from Grignard reagent. First one, alcohols are prepared from alkenes, second one, they are prepared from carbonyl compounds, third one, they are prepared from Grignard reagent. Was the first method? They are prepared from alkenes. How do you convert alkenes into alcohols? That is by two methods. First one, acid catalyzed hydration. Acid catalyzed hydration. What is hydration? Addition of water. Acid catalyzed hydration means addition of water in the presence of an acid which act as catalyst. Second one, hydroboration oxidation reaction. Hydroboration oxidation reaction. So second starting material for the preparation of carbonyl compounds, preparation of alcohols that is from carbonyl compounds. The first one hydrogenation of aldehydes and keto, second one by reaction of carboxylic acids. Third one which is the starting material to prepare alcohols that is Grignard reagent. Therefore my dear students alcohols are generally prepared from first one from alkene, second one from carbonyl compounds, third one from Grignard reagent, third one from Grignard reagent. Let us consider the first method of preparation of alcohols from alkenes, from alkenes. What's the starting material for the preparation of alcohols? The first method from alkenes. In that, the first reaction is acid catalyzed hydration, acid catalyzed hydration. Alkenes undergo hydration, that is you have to add water to alkenes in the presence of catalyst dilute sulfuric acid, in the presence of catalyst dilute sulfuric acid, dilute sulfuric acid. Addition of an acid catalyst needed to allow the reaction proceed at a measurable rate, okay. So this dilute sulfuric acid makes a reaction to proceed at a measurable rate. Therefore, how do you convert alkenes into alcohols? Alkenes can be converted into alcohol. The first method is by acid catalyzed hydration. Alkenes reacts with water in the presence of dilute sulfuric acid as a catalyst. They produce alcohols. So when I consider this is a carbon skeleton of alkenes. So C double bond C, C, H2O, H plus and OH minus so one hydrogen H plus ions goes to carbon, second OH minus goes to another carbon. So OH group is introduced into carbon skeleton, that is it is converted into alcohol, it is converted into alcohol. But in case of, for example, when you consider two cases, first one I will consider ethene, consider ethene and second case I am considering 
प्रोपीन सेकेंड केस आई एम कंसिडर प्रोपीन फर्स्ट केस आई एम गोइंग टू कंसिडर इथिन सेकेंड केस आई एम गोइंग टू कंसिडर प्रोपीन टू दैट आई एम गोइंग टू एड वॉटर इन बोथ द केस इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ डईल्यूट सलफ्यूरिक एसिड इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ डईल्यूट सलफ्यूरिक एसिड एज ए कैटलिस्ट सो हेच प्लस and oh minus h plus goes to carbon first carbon oh minus goes to second carbon therefore it become ch3 ch2 oh ch3 ch2 oh ethene is an example for symmetrical alkene symmetrical alkene so in case of symmetrical alkene no need of any rule h plus goes to first carbon oh minus goes to second carbon or oh minus goes to first carbon h plus goes to second carbon because the atoms which are attached to the double bonded carbon atoms are same therefore no need of any rule but when you want to add water to unsymmetrical alkene the addition takes place accordance with markovnikov's rule addition takes place accordance with markovnikov's rule so was the statement of markovnikov rule when any molecule is added to unsymmetrical alkene the positive part is get attached to that carbon which can that double bonded carbon atom which carrying more number of hydrogen which carry more number of hydrogen when you consider ethene and propene observe the structure of ethene and propene the first compound is ethene was the structure of ethene ch2 double bond ch2 ch2 double bond ch2 So this carbon also attached with two hydrogen. Second carbon. If I consider this as a first carbon, this as a second carbon. First carbon is also attached with two hydrogen. Second carbon is also attached with two hydrogen. Therefore, it's an example for symmetrical alkene. If you add water to this symmetrical alkene, no need of Markovnikov rule. Markovnikov rule applicable only for unsymmetrical alkene. When you add water to unsymmetrical alkene, observe here. here it is a propene propene was the structure of propene ch3 single bond ch double bond so if i consider this as a first carbon this as a second carbon this as a third carbon don't consider this carbon because it is attached with single bond you have to consider double bonded carbon atom you have to consider double bonded carbon atom that is carbon number 1 and carbon number 2 water you should write h plus and what oh minus positive part is get attached to double bonded carbon atom which carrying more hydrogen atom observe my dear student here which are double bonded carbon atom carbon number 1 and carbon number 2 carbon number 1 carrying two hydrogen atom carbon number 2 carrying one hydrogen atom therefore which carrying more number of hydrogen atom carbon number 1 that positive part is get attached to carbon number 1 the negative part is get attached to carbon number 2 therefore you will get isopropyl alcohol iso propyl alcohol as a major product has a major product and iupac name is 2 propanol 2 propanol 1 propanol may be is obtained as a minor product therefore when you consider in alkene we have two types of alkene symmetrical alkene and unsymmetrical alkene in case of symmetrical alkene no need of any rule but in case of unsymmetrical alkene we have to apply the markovnikov rule markovnikov of rule okay so this about how do you convert alkenes into alcohol by acid catalyzed hydration by acid catalyzed hydration what is acid catalyzed hydration addition of water in the presence of acid as a catalyst which acid can be considered as a catalyst here the dilute sulfuric acid dilute sulfuric acid next reaction second method of conversion of alkene into alcohol alkene into alcohol alcohol is hydroboration oxidation reaction hydroboration oxidation reaction that means first part is hydroboration second part is oxidation in the first reaction we had to use diborane diborane b2 H6, B2, H6, diborane in THF, THF that is tetrahydrofuran. Tetrahydrofuran is used as solvent. THF means 
T stands for tetra, H stands for hydro, F stands for furan. The first step is addition of diborane, addition of diborane in the presence of THF. Second part is oxidation in the presence of using hydrogen peroxide as an oxidizing agent in the presence of, in the presence of alkali, in the presence of alkali. Alkali NaOH or KOH, NaOH or KOH. Therefore, in this reaction, which is used as an oxidizing agent, the oxidizing agent is hydrogen peroxide in alkali. Therefore, hydroboration oxidation reaction consists of two steps. First step is hydroboration, that is by addition of diborane in the presence of THF. Second step is oxidation, that is in the presence of hydrogen peroxide in alkali. In alkali. What happens when alkali? Alkene reacts with diborane, it will give rise to trialkyl borane. It gives rise to trialkyl borane, borane, which on oxidation using hydrogen peroxide in alkali give alcohol. This reaction is called as hydroboration oxidation. For example, how do you convert propane 1 all to propene? Propane 1 all to or propanol to propene. Propane 1 all is produced by hydroboration oxidation reaction of propene. Here, the starting alkene is propene. You have to convert propene into propene into propanol. Propene into propanol. Propanol. For that, propene reacts with diborane. Propene reacts with diborane in the presence of tetrahydrofuron to form tri propyl or trialkyl borane as an addition product. This addition product on oxidation to oxidize to alcohol in the presence of hydrogen peroxide in sodium hydroxide. This reaction gives excellent yield of alcohol is obtained. Therefore, how do you convert propanol, propene to propanol, propene to propanol. First step, to propene, you add diborane in the presence of THF. It will form trialkyl borane as an addition product. To this addition product is oxidized to alcohol by using oxidizing agent hydrogen peroxide in alkali. Hydrogen peroxide in alkali. Observe the reaction. CH3 single bond CH double bond CH2 is the structure of propene. Diborane B2H6. B2H6 is written as HBH2 twice. So, H is added to this carbon. H added to this carbon. BH2 added to this carbon. Therefore, once again it reacts with another mole of propene, it will form CH3CH2CH2 CH2 twice BH. This reacts with one more mole of propene, give rise to CH3CH2 CH2 double bond CH2 thrice B. This is called as tripropyl, tripropyl borane, tripropyl borane as an addition product, which on acid hydrolysis, that is oxidized in the presence of hydrogen peroxide in alkali it will give rise to propane as well as byproduct as boric acid H3BO3 H3BO3 like was the addition product or byproduct formed during hydroboration oxidation reaction means boric acid boric acid was the formula of boric acid BOH thrice or H3 BO3 H3 BO3 is the formula of boric acid Next, second method of preparation of alcohol is from carbonyl compounds. What are carbonyl compounds? Compounds which containing carbonyl group, compounds which containing carbonyl group is called as carbonyl compound. What is the structure of carbonyl group? C double bond O. Very beautiful example for carbonyl compounds are aldehyde, ketones, carboxylic acid, esters, acid halides, acid anhydrides, acid amides. All are beautiful example for carbonyl compounds. Why they are called as carbonyl compound? Because they contain carbonyl group. What is the structure of carbonyl group? C double bond O. Okay. Now, alcohols are also prepared from carbonyl compound that is starting from first one, first uh, aldehyde. So, aldehyde is a carbonyl compound. Second one, ketone. Second one, ketone. Third one, carboxylic acid. Third one, carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. Therefore, from aldehyde one we can prepare alcohol from ketone as well as from carboxylic acid. So, 
first method from aldehydes when aldehydes are reduced using hydrogen aldehydes are reduced using hydrogen when we use hydrogen was the catalyst we have to use already you know that either nickel platinum or palladium nickel platinum or palladium catalyst it get reduced to primary alcohol primary alcohol so what is the functional group of aldehyde the functional group of aldehyde is cho it get reduced to primary alcohol group ch2oh observe here only there is a change in the functional group there is no change in the side chain there is no change in the alkyl group r ch o become r ch 2 o h that is when it is reduced in the presence of by reduced using hydrogen in the presence of nickel platinum palladium as a catalyst for example in place of r you put ethyl group ch3 ch2 now it is become propanaldehyde propanaldehyde so if you add hydrogen to this in the presence of platinum palladium or nickel as a catalyst ch2 o functional group is converted into primary alcoholic functional group that is ch2 oh was the primary alcoholic functional group ch2 ch2 oh secondary ch oh ch oh tertiary c o h tertiary c o h therefore aldehyde group is converted into reduced to primary uh, alcoholic functional group that is ch2 o h therefore it has three carbon therefore it is propyl alcohol or propanol or propanol therefore how do you convert aldehydes into alcohols aldehydes can be converted into primary alcohol not to secondary alcohol as well as tertiary alcohol aldehydes are reduced to primary alcohol by passing hydrogen in the presence of nickel platinum palladium as a catalyst it get reduced to primary here what we have to do don't touch side chain or alkyl group convert aldehyde group that is cho into the primary alcoholic functional group that is ch2oh convert cho into ch2oh next from ketones as you know the general formula of ketone is rc double bond o r dash it is also reduced by using hydrogen in the presence of nickel platinum or palladium as a catalyst here the functional group is c double bond o convert into secondary alcoholic functional group what is that chOH just you can we are converting functional group there aldehyde functional group in case of aldehyde aldehyde functional group is chO is converted into primary alcoholic functional group ch2OH in ketones was the functional group of ketone c double bond o that is converted into secondary alcoholic group ch OH therefore R and R dash don't touch CO is converted into CHOH it is secondary alcohol take acetone as an example or IUPAC name is propanone IUPAC name is propanone it is reduced by, by using hydrogen in the presence of nickel platinum palladium catalyst don't uh, change the CH3 CO is converted into CHOH it is called as isopropyl alcohol here also CO is converted into CHOH, CO is converted into CHOH, CHOH, okay. So, this is how do you convert ketones into, how do you convert ketones into into secondary alcohol aldehyde group is reduced to primary alcoholic functional group that is cho is converted into ch2oh ch2oh c double bond o is here converted into chOH chOH aldehyde into primary alcoholic group ketone into secondary alcoholic group next to third carbonyl compound is carboxylic acid therefore Third reaction is by reduction of carboxylic acid. What are carboxylic acid? These are the compound which containing COOH as a functional group. What's the functional group of carboxylic acid? C double bond OH. So they can be reduced in the presence of lithium aluminium hydride, lithium aluminium hydride in THF, tetrahydrofuron, and followed by acid hydrolysis. Here also was the functional group of carboxylic acid COOH. It is converted into 
primary alcoholic functional group CH2OH, CH2OH, there is no change in alkyl group. Observe here, I will take acetic acid, mark functional group, that is converted into CH2OH, there is no change in CH3CH3. Acetic acid is converted into ethanol. Here also, round off functional group COOH is converted into the primary alcoholic functional group CH2OH. Here the side chain is ethyl CH3CH2, CH3CH2 remains same. Therefore, what's the reducing agent used here? Here the reducing agent is lithium aluminium hydride in the presence of THF, in the presence of what? THF. Okay. Next, that is the third method of preparation of alcohol is that is from Grignard reagent. So, as you know, the general formula of Grignard reagent is RMGX. It is, they are, what are Grignard reagent? Alkyl or aryl magnesium halides, alkyl or aryl magnesium halides are called as Grignard reagent. What's the general formula of Grignard reagent? RMGX. The best method of the preparation of alcohol from Grignard reagent. Why? Because here all the three types of alcohol that is primary, secondary, tertiary, all the three types of alcohols they are obtained from Grignard reagent. But Grignard reagent when you consider treated with aldehyde or ketone addition product is formed. These products on hydrolysis or acid hydrolysis give rise to alcohol. If you want to primary, secondary as well as tertiary. If you want primary alcohol, use formaldehyde, use formaldehyde. If you want secondary alcohol, use other aldehydes, use, the, use other aldehyde. Tertiary, use ketones, use uh, ketones. So, if you want primary alcohol, if you want primary alcohol, use formaldehyde with Grignard reagent. If you want secondary alcohol, use other aldehyde except formaldehyde with Grignard reagent. If you want tertiary alcohol, use ketone. Therefore, primary alcohols are prepared from formaldehyde and Grignard reagent. Secondary alcohols are prepared from other aldehydes and Grignard reagent. Tertiary alcohols are prepared from Ketone and Grignard reagent. Ketone and Grignard reagent. Once again, I will read. Formaldehyde gives primary alcohol. Other aldehyde gives secondary alcohol. Ketones gives tertiary alcohol. This is the best method of preparation of alcohol because we are going to prepare all the three types of alcohol like primary, secondary as well as tertiary. Once again, I will repeat. Formaldehyde gives primary alcohol. Other aldehydes gives secondary alcohol. Ketones gives tertiary alcohol. I will write reaction. Dear students, already I explained that formaldehyde gives primary alcohol. Other aldehydes give secondary alcohol, ketone gives tertiary alcohol. So now if it is a functional group of an aldehyde, CH double bond O, if it is H, so it is formaldehyde. If it is CH3, it is known as what? Acetaldehyde. I am going to add Grignard reagent, methyl magnesium bromide, methyl magnesium bromide. So when this pi bond is shifted here, oxygen become partially negative and carbon become partially positive. MgBr goes to oxygen, CH3 goes to carbon. Similarly, here also MgBr goes to oxygen, CH3 goes to carbon. This is delta minus and delta plus. Therefore, in both the cases, they will form addition product CH3, CH3, CH2, OMGR. Here also CH3, 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 COMG, BR and CH. These are addition product which on acid hydrolysis give rise to primary alcohol ethanol. Here it give rise to secondary alcohol isopropyl alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. Third, I am going to take acetone as an example for ketone. So, it is all IUPAC name is propanol. Here become delta minus and it is delta plus as early I explained that MgBr goes to oxygen, CH3 goes to carbon. Therefore, it becomes C, CH3, 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 O becomes O, MgR. It's an addition product which on acid hydrolysis give rise to tertiary alcohol called tertiary butyl alcohol as well as byproduct MgOH Br. Therefore, formaldehyde gives primary alcohol, other aldehyde gives secondary alcohol, ketones give rise to tertiary alcohol. Therefore, my dear students, in the second session, I completely discuss about how do you prepare 
alcohol first method from alkene second method from carbonyl compounds third method from grignard reagent in the next session that is in the third session i am going to discuss about the physical and chemical properties of alcohol physical properties as well as chemical properties of alcohol okay my dear student next session i'll come up with physical and chemical properties of alcohol until that goodbye thank you